When you say that the the monarchy uh, in it, it, the the House of Windsor uh, stuck to its constitutional role uh, and the constitution, as you put it, that though is something of fairly recent evolution. Um, I mean, yeah. you, it's hard to put a precise date on which you can't say, oh, uh, absolute monarchy became a constitutional monarchy on a Tuesday morning in, in, uh, in July. It, it's, it's something that evolved uh, and, and continues to evolve uh, over the generations, doesn't it? It began with Victoria. It began changing with Victoria. I mean, once you get past, you know, four Hanoverian Georges and the rather mm. eccentric King William, mm who really makes little impression on uh, royal history, to be honest. Mm. The interesting thing about Victoria is she was inherently a bit of a despot. Mm. She liked being in charge, she liked being queen, and she liked doing things the way she wanted to. And she very quickly had the stuffing knocked out of her when she became queen, because she overreached herself very early on with trying to keep Lord Melbourne when his government had lost power. And then there was mm. the bedchamber crisis when she wouldn't change her ladies. And it was Albert who really steered her, because I think without Albert, she might have been perhaps a more rigid and less observant mon monarch than she became because Albert was a stickler for all the protocols and the correct observance of the rules. And it was Albert who really created the modern British monarchy, in my view, because he projected this image, thanks to the invention of photography, actually. Mm. He projected, because he was very keen on photography, this image of a nice, bourgeois, safe, domestic royal family who were on the side of the middle classes. They weren't up there in all their regalia being remote. And it was Albert who helped nudge the British monarchy towards, you know, the 20th century. So I, I'm not saying it was entirely his doing, but he, he did a lot by projecting this image of happy families. Well, of course, it wasn't necessarily a happy family. Victoria was very turbulent and he and Al she and Albert fought and they had, you know, nine children to deal with and a disappointing heir. But nevertheless, the public view of them was this sense of solidity and reliability mm. and decency.